Hi, I'm Conrad Fisher, and this is Routine Miracles. And there has been nothing, nothing more impressive than the 47 pages of this book that has been devoted to ophthalmology. Every area of ophthalmology progresses to where the standard of care changes every 12 to 24 months has been very exciting. And I am a very fortunate and privileged to have Dr. Clifford Lazaro nice to, to be, be here. You. And we are here with Dr. Douglas Lazaro. Hello, sir. Hello, Dr. Fisher. Uh, both you and your son together. And to hear you both bouncing off of each other, I would be very interested to hear you comparing what certain surgical procedures and treatments were. When I finished in 1971, and I went into a comprehensive ophthalmology. So in those Jurassic Park days, when we did a cataract operation, the patient was admitted to the hospital, stayed there for approximately six to seven days, had no intraocular lens implants, so when the cataract operation was finished and the patient healed, some six to eight weeks later, they were given a big, thick pair of lenses. And as the years progressed, this, uh, this operation, which required us to originally open up half the eye, 180 degrees, this incision was made so small that uh, with around 1.5 millimeters, people can have their cataracts removed, implants placed, healing, and, and almost back to work within a few days. My understanding is that the most common cause of blindness starting in adults right. is macular degeneration. When I finished my residency program, lasers were just starting to be used at that time for uh, wet macular degeneration. There are two varieties of macular degeneration, dry and wet. And then in the last few years, with the anti-VEGF factors that are being used, this wet macular degeneration is something that is absolutely being treated. Uh, vision deterioration has been stopped. In the whole field of, um, of uh, refractive surgery, where people can have LASIK surgery done. And don't touch, don't touch Doug's area. No, 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 there we, there we, we won't go. get into <laughs> it in, in depth, but it, it is amazing. One of the surgeries I do is LASIK surgery, and I believe that modern-day LASIK is a miracle. And I think it's uh, one of the things that's revolutionized ophthalmology. And the effect is profound. Many of these patients can actually drive in to see you the next day wow. without reaching for the glasses or the contact lenses. Glaucoma, that's probably the second leading cause of blindness. There are treatments today just with drops that allow many patients to preserve vision. And many of those patients, frankly, 10 or 15 years ago, went on to invasive surgical procedures. Another really groundbreaking therapy in the last five years is a procedure called DSEC. Decimase membrane stripping procedure. Yes, you take out the back 100 microns. You take off that endothelial layer with a little membrane attached to it. And you, you slap it in there like a, like a taco. That's correct. It pops you put open. The membrane, it pops open. You put an air bubble in the, in the eye. It comes together. And in general, a couple days later, you have a patient that had poor vision due to corneal swelling who now mm. has uh, rehabilitated vision. It's, it's miraculous. Yes, it is. And it can happen today. And that's why this book is called Routine Miracles. Many of these treatments are indeed miracles. And routine. They could be done tomorrow. That's the whole point. Nothing in this book is talking about what's going to be available in two years or five years. That's the whole point. And I think it's going to just get better. We don't appreciate these two great cameras we have until a disease affects them. Doug, thanks for coming to join me today. Thank you for inviting me, Dr. Fisher. Dr. Lazaro, thanks for coming to talk to me today. Pleasure to be with you again.